Well, we made this study in Italy on parathyroidectomy because we know since many years that uh, parathyroidectomy is a, a clinical condition in which the patient receives the surgery and then uh, uh, becomes at risk of, of, uh, of being hypoparathyroid. So we thought to examine uh, how was the, 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 the picture in Italy and we uh, collected data from uh, some 150 centers all around the Italian peninsula and uh, we have been able to collect uh, 543 cases of parathyroidectomy and, uh, um, and for this patient we have been also able to collect uh, uh, to create a control group that was taken from the total of the patient that uh, attended the whole 150 center units, it's some 12,000 patients. And uh, from this 12,000 patients, we selected the control group. It was of uh, 470 cases that were comparable for age, sex, and most importantly for dialysis duration, which is a risky uh, factor for parathyroidectomy. Well, uh, we have been able to find that uh, following parathyroidectomy, there is patients who say parathyroidectomy actually do not reach uh, the recommended Kidoki targets. And this could be considered an ominous thing or a risky condition. However, when we evaluated the uh, mortality rate of this patient, we found that parathyroidectomized patients actually survive more. So it seems that parathyroidectomy uh, uh, remains a favorable treatment for this patient, even though biochemical markers are not reached. So these data are not new but they suggest that parathyroid hormone may still be considered as a, a toxin that exerts some uh, untoward effect and that uh, may be cause of increased mortality in this patient, uh, independently of uh, uh, reaching k targets for calcium, phosphate, and even PTH.